print your images. Even if you want to print them small or print them large like me, print your images. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, join me, I'm back at base. And I've been thinking there since my last trip that I went to the north coast of Ireland and what a phenomenal trip that was to the Causeway Coast. And if you haven't actually seen any of those episodes, I'll link to the playlist up here. But it was an absolutely incredible trip and I managed to actually have a great amount of fun as well as get some great photos. I shared it with my good buddy, Dermot. I also met with Patrick and also Richard and along the way we went to some incredibly beautiful locations and something I generally try and do after a trip like that is to look back and reminisce and kind of think okay what did I learn from it did I manage to get some good photographs as well out of that trip and I'm pleased to say on this trip I actually did so what I also like to try and do is bring those memories to life and a great way to bring those to life is through print. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to discuss three images that I picked from this trip, why I picked them and what I also did was print them and I'm going to have them on my wall at home. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today and I'll talk to you more as we go through. So for my trip, I actually had a very, very short time there, but we managed to pack quite a lot in during that trip and the first image that I decided to um, print was actually the image from my first morning and it was a place called the Giants Causeway. Now I managed to get a number of different photographs from this but there was one particular shot that really stood out to me and it was something that really kind of went against the grain of other images that I would have seen. So when you're in the Giants Causeway obviously these are hexagonal rocks and they're quite unique they're formed by lava but what I decided to do was actually look back in and the first image that I have uh, is this image here and what I've decided to do is print this image um, on my own printer here at home and it's something I think which is really really good because when I look at this image here the detail that I can see on these rocks is absolutely incredible and when you're also taking your images you know you can be really really pixel peeping but by actually taking the image and putting it on paper you realize that your camera is incredibly sharp and even the things that you really look into you never even see on the image now thankfully on this image as well it's sharp the whole way through but now that i've printed it i looked and i spotted that there was two people on the rocks and i never even saw before so that'll tell you how much i kind of looked at this image to see how well it printed out and i'm really happy with how this image actually printed because even on my own printer here at home i just use a permajet uh, paper it's the oyster paper that i normally have and i've done a very very quick print no real configuration or anything like that and I was very happy as well that how this image matched what I saw on the screen in regards to the finished file but it's an incredible shot for me I printed on a3 as well and I think it really really came out well now the other advantage by for me personally is when I look at this I say okay this brings back the memories I don't have to actually open up my phone or open up a screen to get those memories and that's the beauty I think of printing images because when you put them up around the wall around your house and as you're walking through it's going to bring that and stir that emotion for me because I was there and I took the image but I'm sure that if somebody is looking at this image as well it's quite appealing and it's a place that they kind of go okay I'd love to go there someday so this was the first image that I took here of the Giants Cause Way, and I'm really really happy with how that turned out. Now the second image that I decided to print actually was on the second morning. So like I said I arrived there on the Friday, Giants Cause there was a Saturday morning and then on the Sunday morning we went to this location and this is the dark hedges and this image here we waited and waited and waited and waited and it was something that I didn't think was going to happen was we got some light and as you can see even here looking at the screen here you can see the light is really really prevalent within the image but also the reason why I decided to print this image is because it's something that's special to me for a couple of reasons number one maybe around about 10 or 15 years ago I came across an image by a photographer actually here in Ireland his name is Peter Cox and he created a calendar I bought the calendar and one of the images that I had in that calendar was of here which was the dark hedges and I was fascinated by the image and I always said you know what I'd love to be able to go there myself and take the shot so when I managed to get there and see it for myself and get my own shot I definitely had to print that but this particular image as well within that I have two 
birds that were flying. One is more or less nestled within the, um, the tree trunks, but the other guy was completely on his own and he was lit up nicely because of the background lighting as well. So there was a nice bit of contrast in relation to him. When I also look at the image here and the detail that I see amongst the image, it really, really is nice. And this is one that kind of really draws you into the image. It's a kind of a mystical one, even though it is bright, it's still a lovely shot to be able to look at. And I'm really happy with how this one actually turned out. And the final image that I decided to print, which really encapsulated the trip for me, was the last location that we went to shoot. Now, it's called Murloc Bay, and you know, when we were driving in there, I had no real expectations. But as I said in the actual video, every corner that we actually turned, it opened up more and more. And it was something that I hadn't really expected to be as nice as it was. Now, after I arrived there, I was immediately drawn to one tree that was up on a hill. And I remember said, okay, I think I've seen that tree before. And I actually had seen that tree, I think there was maybe five, six years ago. Um, another landscape photographer, Thomas Heaton, had visited Ireland and he went and he took a photograph around this area. Now, when I look back and after I came home, I went, is that where I saw it? And that's where I had seen it. The image he took was of the tree as well, but not with the viewpoint that I decided to go for. And the image that I decided to, to, to choose from this one here was one which encapsulates the whole entire vista. And it was something, again, that I had to wait and wait and wait for the light to come. And when the light came, it really, really lit up this tree. And then there's also a touch of light as well here on the hills. And because of the undulation on that as well, you really got some nice brightness and dark areas within that. Now, when I again look at this image, it is tack sharp. I can see the individual leaves that are within the tree. The way I composed the shot as well was a very considered approach. And I talk about that as well, actually, during the video. So for me to be able to take that image then and have it printed here, it can bring back those memories to me. But also, like I said, similar to the other images, when somebody looks at this image, I think they may actually say, you know what, this place looks fascinating and it looks beautiful. And it does definitely do that. I even got some comments on the video of people who had visited there before and thought it was the highlight of their trips. And I can completely agree with that. It's an area that I'd love to go back to again. We got to spend maybe around three hours there, too short in my opinion. And also it was late in the morning coming close to um, midday, which isn't generally the best time for light. But I'm still happy with the images that I got here. And if I ever get an opportunity to go back up, which I most likely will, I'm going to go back to this place. And I'm going to go here for sunrise or sunset, if not both. I may even spend an entire day around this area because I imagine there's a lot to explore. Now, printing images as well is something, like I said, and it's the purpose of what I wanted to make the video, because I would encourage you to print your images, because even me holding them in my hand here, it really does bring the image to life. Now, some people can get scared by printing, and I generally would be the one, one of those people, but I've seen a couple of very interesting videos, actually, one by a guy called Gary Goff, who's from the UK, he made a phenomenal video for everything that you need to consider when you're printing your images. And I'd really recommend if you want to print your own images, go watch that video. I'll link actually to that video uh, up here. And another one as well was by Sean Bagshaw. And again, going into a lot of detail, what you need to consider in relation to how you're processing your image and how the image is going to uh, turn out. And also in regards to the paper that you should use. So, summary in relation to this video, print your images. Even if you want to print them small or print them large like me, print your images. Because it is something, I think, like I say, that you can have around the house and it will really bring back the memories for you if you've taken those images. Now, what I'm also going to do with these three images is if somebody would like one of these images, please leave me know in the comments below. And what I will do then is I will pick three winners at random. If you want to tell me which image you'd like, is it going to be the Giant's Causeway, the Dark Hedges or Murloc Bay? And then if I can get enough people within that, I'll pick it and then I'll send you the, uh, your own copy and I'll sign the copy as well and you can have that free of charge. So, hope you've enjoyed this quick insight into um, printing your own images and the benefits behind each of those. If it's your first time on my channel, please hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment and until the next time, Schlange Fall.